Hey everybody, so um, right now I'm being pretty attacked, which I get it. If, if I listened to uh, TMZ, I'd probably hate me too. Um, so real quick here, you know, I've, I've suffered from some trauma. My dog was actually stolen, like right in front of me, um, which was in August. So I went 18 days without food and I, I didn't stop until I got her. And thanks to the LAPD and the officers, uh, Mid Wilshire, you know, they got my dog and it was hard work, but I pressed him every day. Um, there's an incident in here where I'm, I'm protesting the lockdowns and the restaurant closures. I have friends around here. Beverly Hills is going broke. Our economy, you know, there's different ways to do it. I believe in the COVID. I know that. However, we can't stop our lives. If we're healthy bodies, we cannot seclude ourselves. That's going to get us sick. If you're stick, sick, you stay inside until you get better. If you're inside, I wear a mask. If I'm within this close, people don't come because so, I'm in the beauty business okay so I'm outside picketing to please keep the restaurants open and the bit small businesses and I don't know where I've been to this is my seventh month of, of protesting a girl with black hair comes up pushes me as hard as she could in the chest and the little guy behind her fell on my dog and all I, and everybody heard the scream. Thank God the dog, I keep her so close to me. She was fine, but they got up in my face, okay? So I'm from the East Coast. I've been in the beauty business since I was 18. My mentor was at Arthur Angelo School of Cosmetology. She was uh, the first transgender I ever saw and met. Her name was Miss Candy. Her real name was Robert. And I have people in Rhode Island who know this. She was one of my good friends, my mentors. She trained me with hair, jerry curls. Um, haircuts. We used to do all the homeless people. We would have um, clinic where the homeless people would come. So that was my mentor. Then my other assistant in Boca Raton at Chenzo and Company was Jose. Jose had AIDS. Nobody wanted to go near Jose. I was his only friend besides the man he lived with. He used to say he wanted to lay on, die eating bonbons in front of the television set. And he said he visited too many bathhouse in Delray Beach and now he's paying the price so he had AIDS. Anyway, when he died, he left me all his stuff, like all his vases and his beautiful like Hummels. And so I'm not a homophobe. However, I do fall short. I love the Lord. Um, I fall short a lot. And I've spent most of my life struggling, you know, to be a better person. Mm -hmm. um, I had trauma from the age of, of 14 on. And I went through a divorce. You know, I, it's you know a lot about me. We all have our own story. But for this, these people to judge me for a word taken out of contest, I don't know how many. I don't know about you guys, but if somebody came up to you, charged on you, another death threat. That's all she means. Yeah, man, it's crazy. Charged on you, and the guy with her fell on your dog or stepped on your dog. I didn't see it. I was just paying attention to the girl called me a cunt. I called him the. the well, anyway, it got me in trouble. TMZ clipped everything. If anybody ever hurt my dog, that's it. You know, she just got stolen in August. I'm sorry, people, but my dog could have been killed, okay? And I overreacted. And I remember saying to myself, I want to say the most nastiest, heinous thing to this guy. So then the girl comes over and is following me. And I'm thinking, why is she so offended by the word? Say it again, say it again. At that point, I was so angry, I didn't care who was in my face. I ran away with my dogs. I was mad. I'm no angel. I use, you know, slang a lot and insensitive words. You know, we, I'm from the 80s and we grew up in the industry and that's those, the way we talk to each other. What can I say? One of my really good friends is Fags for Trump. However, it wasn't meant in, in any sexual orientation at all. There, and there are other definitions. Anyway, so we need to teach each other intolerance. Because right now my family's being attacked I'm being attacked by my um, customers, my people that sponsor me, you know, and I get it. I, I understand. If I saw that, I'd probably do the same thing. But we also need to have a lesson in tolerance. It's like the, if the left wants us to be tolerant of them, then they need to be toler tolerant of words. It's not okay to call somebody a cunt, push them in the chest, and kick their dog. Or I didn't see it. Everybody else did. I just heard my dog scream. I want to ask a question and then mm -hmm. you're going to roll. Okay. Um, if if Harvey, if Harv, uh, what's his name? Harvey, Harvey Levin? Le Harvey Levin, yeah. Yeah. If he was carrying his uh, 1.2 ounce dog and somebody almost stepped on it and killed it, mm -hmm. how would he react? 
That's what I would like to know. Yeah. What shoes does that man walk in? Right. How how about he walk in another man's shoes? He they Maybe can't he can tell they me. can't understand oh, another death threat. They can't understand um that you right. you were in a death situation with your love your loved one is your right. dog there. And nobody's thinking about being correct with your words or poli I'm not politically correct anyway and I'm sorry it doesn't make me a homo phobe it doesn't make me a uh, racist I'm just not going to tippy toe around people's feelings I have a, a good heart I love people and my but message. but then again Harvey Levin is quick to call anybody a fucking racist yeah oh, that's uh, right. if yeah. they use an Aunt Jemima fucking uh pancake yeah. bottle uh to just to get syrup on their pancakes he'll call them racist for using syrup yeah well I think he's the racist well he actually is Trump supporters I really think it was probably the Trump shirt mm. why he did this and you know and he definitely he's actually he being known known more and more for being a racist right and he defamed me so he's a yeah. racist he's actually a yeah. defamation artist mm -hmm. and he will meet his day one day yeah